Good evening, I'm Alexis Walters. And I'm Stan Boney. With its population shrinking, does Warren still need all of its traffic lights and stop signs? There's now a plan in place to remove 21 traffic lights and turn 63 four-way stops into two ways. But before they okayed it, the Warren City Council wanted to hear from the people who live in those neighborhoods. I was at the meeting this evening and heard why some of them don't want these changes made. Warren applied for and received a $1.6 million grant. With that money, they're expected to remove traffic lights at intersections like this one and turn four-way stops into two at others. I think when uh, a number of these changes are implemented, the traveling public as a whole will appreciate the change. I think that they'll see the improvements. About 30 residents came to the meeting tonight, most against the removal of lights or stop signs in their neighborhoods. The biggest concern? speeding and safety. People speed down the street 50, 60 miles an hour. Oakdale is like a speedway. My concern is our ability to move freely and safely in and out of our neighborhood. Engineers on the project argue that stoplights and signs don't and shouldn't control speed. It's the volume of traffic in these areas that's the bigger factor. And the number of cars isn't enough to keep the lights and signs. There's been no data that suggests that you're going to increase speed or reduce safety when you remove a stop sign or an unwarranted signal. Oftentimes, unwarranted signals and stop signs are ignored by residents. One person is in favor and said Warren's traffic system is out of date. I have spent countless minutes adding to countless hours and gasoline sitting at stoplights. There's nobody there. The city can, however, put flashing stop signs in certain areas where they're removing stoplights collect data and revisit maybe keeping that stoplight over the course of the year. But Third Ward Councilman Greg Greathouse tells me getting rid of the lights is also about being compliant with state standards. And if we choose not to go along with this and then somebody gets hurt in a non-compliant intersection, then the city's on the hook. Now, with so many concerns about speeding, there was talk of holding another meeting about how they can slow cars down, but they said it won't be with stop signs and stop lights. Council will vote on that grant. It could be as early as three weeks or as late as next summer. If they accept it, the work would have to start by July of 2022.